It was just an ordinary afternoon. An old man strolled through the dusty edge of his farm, where the soil was cracked and dry, the grass long dead. His foot nudged something hard, a dull blackened rock half buried in dirt. He almost walked on, thinking it was just another burnt lump of iron slag from decades ago. But something about the weight, the chill it held in the sun, made him pause. He picked it up, heavy, ugly, pitted, but oddly magnetic. He didn't know it yet, but he was holding a 4.5 billion year old treasure from space. That same ugly stone was later identified as a rare palisite meteorite worth over $50,000. And here's the shocking part. This isn't rare. These stones are all over the earth, hidden in plain sight, in your backyard, in riverbeds, beside highways, in deserts. You've probably walked past one before, maybe even thrown it. Today, we unravel the secret world of meteorite stones, how to spot them, why they matter, how they're valued, and why you should never ignore the ugliest rock in the room. Let's start from space. Meteorites are fragments of asteroids, comets, or planetary bodies, sometimes even pieces of Mars or the Moon, that survive their fiery plunge through Earth's atmosphere and crash land on our surface. Some are older than Earth itself. They fall every day, thousands of them. Most are tiny, dust. But a few, maybe a hundred each year, are large enough to reach the ground, waiting for someone to find them. What makes them so special? Not just the origin, the metals, the minerals, the alien isotopes, some not found anywhere on Earth. And for collectors, scientists, and museums, they're worth more than gold. Not all meteorites are the same. In fact, there are three major types. One, iron meteorites, solid, heavy, magnetic. These are composed mostly of nickel-iron alloys. They often have a dense metallic look with a strange patina. Found in deserts, riverbeds, or plowed fields, they may look like melted metal chunks, often confused with industrial slag. 2. Stony meteorites, chondrites. These resemble earth rocks, but hidden within are tiny spherical grains called chondrules, ancient droplets from the early solar system. They may also contain metal flakes, fusion crusts, and shock veins. 3. Stony iron meteorites, palisites. The rarest. These are otherworldly, metallic stones embedded with gem-like olivine crystals. If cut and polished, they gleam like art from space. These fetch massive prices at auctions. Let's talk field clues. Because meteorites don't glow, they don't hum, they hide. But here are five field-tested signs that you may be holding a real one. 1. Magnet test. Most meteorites, even stony types, have iron. If it sticks to a strong magnet, take a second look. 2. Fusion crust. A thin, dark outer layer from burning through Earth's atmosphere. It's usually darker than the interior and smooth. Dray. Heft and density. It's heavier than it looks. A stone the size of your palm could weigh twice what it should. 4. Metal flakes or veins. Use a magnifying glass. Look for shiny metal flecks or linear metal lines inside broken pieces. 5. No quartz or bubbles. Earth rocks often have quartz crystals or bubble holes. Meteorites don't. Let's shift from theory to reality. In 2018, a farmer in Michigan used a doorstop rock for decades. It turned out to be a 22-pound iron meteorite worth $100,000. In Morocco, a nomad stumbled on a glassy black rock with green flecks. Sold to a European collector, it became the famous Tissant meteorite a confirmed Martian fragment, 
A teenager in Texas picked up what he thought was a chunk of melted metal. Experts later confirmed it to be a nickel-iron meteorite from a rare shower. These are not accidents. They are wake-up calls. Meteorites are out there, right now, and they don't look pretty. So where do you start your search? 1. Dry desert regions. Places like the Sahara, Atacama, or Australian Outback preserve meteorites well due to lack of rain. 2. Antarctica. Surprisingly, it's the best place. Dark meteorites stand out against white snow. Thousands are found yearly. 3. Old farmlands and fields, especially in Midwestern U.S., Russia, and parts of Ethiopia. Unexplored open land. 4. Dry riverbeds and arroyos. Flash floods may expose heavier meteorites buried deep in soil. 5. Glacial drop zones. When glaciers recede, they reveal strange stones, sometimes from space. Before jumping to conclusions, test smartly, scratch test, real meteorites scratch steel. Streak test. They don't leave chalky streaks like hematite. Cut and etch. When cut and treated with acid, iron meteorites reveal a unique pattern. Widmanstetten lines. No earth metal can mimic this. For confirmation, send it to labs like Meteoritical Society NASA affiliated programs, University Geoscience Labs. Let's talk numbers. Iron meteorites, $10 per gram. Stony chondrites, $30 per gram. Palisites, $500 plus per gram. Lunar or Martian, up to $1,000 per gram. Museums, private collectors, research institutions, all compete for rare pieces. The rarer and more intact, the more it's worth. So next time you're out hiking, farming, or simply walking along a dusty trail, and your eye catches an odd, heavy, metallic, ugly stone. Pause. Look closer. Run your hand across its surface. Check the weight. Use a magnet, because you might be holding a message from space, or your first step into a life-changing discovery. Meteorites aren't just rocks. They're stories. Ancient. Alien valuable, and they're waiting to be found, maybe by you. So never throw that ugly stone. It might just be the most beautiful thing you've ever held.